let's take a look at Academic Search Premier. Academic Search Premier is a great general purpose database. That is, it contains information on lots of different topics instead of specializing in one area such as business or literature. To get to Academic Search Premier, we go to the library's website and click on Find Articles. This will take us to a listing of all the databases that the Rose Library provides. To access this from home, you will need the NC Live password, which can be obtained by logging into Blackboard and choosing the Library at Cleveland tab. Once you are in Academic Search Premier, you will see that there are a number of different ways to limit your search. I want to highlight a few of these. The most important limiter is the full text box. You always want to click on this box. By doing so, you are telling the computer that you only want the results that contain the entire article for you to read online. If you don't click on this box, you will get way more results, but most of them will not be usable since the article isn't available online. So always click the full text box if you see it as an option. The one underneath full text is for scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. This is a bit of library jargon. In the world of research, the sources that are written for the general public versus those written for professionals in their fields are called different things. Magazines and newspapers are written for the general public. Time, Newsweek, Sports Illustrated, Vogue, those are all considered magazines. Journals, on the other hand, are written for professionals and experts in their fields. The articles will typically be much longer, much denser, and use highly specialized vocabulary. Unless you are told that you need to have peer-reviewed or scholarly journals, I don't recommend clicking on this box. You can also limit by date range, by the name of the publication, or by type of publication, such as a magazine or newspaper. Occasionally, you will get assignments where the instructor has stipulated that none of your sources can be more than five years old, or that it can only be a newspaper article. This is where you can manage your search to fit those criteria. Now that we've selected our limiters, in this case I've only selected full text, we can put in our search term or terms. Let's do a search for the phrase genetic engineering. As you can see, we got a lot of results. Too many results, actually. We don't have time to shift through all of those. Fortunately, Academic Search Premier provides us with tools to refine our search from this page. In addition to the limiting function functions it provided us on the main search page, we get some other ones as well. I'm going to start by limiting the date range to just the last five years. As you can see, I dramatically reduce the um, number of results that I got, but I improve the quality of my results list. I still have a lot of results though, so I'm going to use one of the suggested subject the source terms that are provided. This is a great feature if you're having trouble um, thinking of related words to help you narrow or expand your search. Every suggestion that they give you is going to produce results, so it's an ideal shortcut. I'm going to select uh, Crops Genetic Engineering, and 57 results is a lot easier to go through than over 8,000. If you want to find out more information about an article, click on the title that is hyperlinked in blue, and it will take you to the abstract page. From this page, you can access the abstract or synopsis of the article to determine if it will be useful without having to read the entire article right now. Also, over on the right-hand side, you will see the word cite. If you click on that link, then a, um, Academic Search Premier will give you the correct citation format for the article. You simply need to scroll down to find the format that your instructor has told you to use. The ones most frequently used here at CCC are APA, up here, and MLA down here. If you decide you want to read or use this article, you can click on the full text link provided. Th from this page, it is on the left-hand side. On the results screen, it was at the bottom of each result. Articles can be viewed in one of two ways, either PDF or HTML full text. Um, 
HTML is not used as often, but it displays the article like a web page. PDF, on the other hand, uses um, Adobe Acrobat Reader and displays the article in a, in a manner that is most like looking at the print source it came from. So here's a look at the PDF full text. And I'll show you an HTML in just a moment. Um, but we highlight the differences because if you're going to print something that's in PDF format, you need to use the print icon that it provides you right here. Alrighty, and let me really fast show you HTML. Go down here. As you can see, it, I had to go to the ninth result to get an HTML one. If I click on it, see it displays it within the parameters of the website itself. So I can use the file and print button for that one. And there you have it, a quick tour of Academic Search Premiere.